What's going on YouTube? So, I've been asked about um, how do I do my game covers um, for these binders. I have, I probably have, um, I'll say about 14 binders now. Each one of them is uh, full except uh, one of them, the uh, Xbox 360. And um, I need to pick up a couple more. But uh, anyway, these are the binders that I use. I get them from Amazon. They hold about 320 games each. Um, so these are the covers. Basically, I print out the covers and uh, then I just cut them up and I put them in here. And I think they make the games look much, much better. It's easier to find a game when uh, the cover is inserted. Um, currently, I have it. I have uh, all my uh, PlayStation uh, binders done. I have all my 360 binders and my game cube binder which is this one um, they're all done with covers I'm currently in the uh, process of doing the uh, 3DOs, the Sega CD, uh, the Neo Geo CD uh, Turbo Dual Jaguar CD uh, Sega Saturn and Dreamcast and uh, actually PlayStation 2 um, I think that's everything I'm missing so I'm starting with uh, PlayStation 2 this is what I do I actually uh, get the binders, get the um, the images for the covers online. I um, crop them out. I resize them to uh, 4.75 to 4.75, which fits perfectly in here. So these are all PlayStation 2. I've done about, um, there's about 75 of them in here. Um, I've got quite a long road ahead of me. I've got... Um, I don't even know how many. I've got maybe like six, seven hundred uh, PlayStation 2 games to do, and then I have um, all the other consoles which need to be done. So basically, I take it and I put it here in my paper cutter, and I've got everything sized. So this is the first cut. I put the paper up against this corner here, and that's my first cut. And then I flip it over, put it up to this one, the second corner, chop it, and then the third and the fourth are the same exact ones. And um, once they're cut up, they'll fit perfectly in there. So um, I'm going to go ahead and cut all of these up and uh, put them in the binder. And then um, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so I'm back here. I've cut all the uh, covers out. I've put them in. Um, it's, it's quite a lengthy process. It does take um, you know, a couple of hours tracking down the covers resizing them, printing them, cutting them, and then um, putting them in here. Um, but the end result, it's, it's, you know, it, it just looks amazing when you can just uh, track the game down uh, by a uh, cover. Um, you know, I just like the way they look. It's, it's a lengthy process, but the end result is definitely worth it, or at least in my opinion, it is. Um, So, yeah, I've still got a numerous amount of binders to do. It's going to definitely take me a couple of months, but, um, you know, it, it's worth it as far as I'm concerned. It's a pretty uh, rare game, um, Dream Mix TV. Uh, it's got characters from Konami, Takara, and Hudson. It's a uh, fighting game similar to uh, Super Smash Brothers and um, PlayStation All-Stars, I believe it was called. Um, it's got Optimus Prime. It's got the, uh, the guy from Adventure Island. It's got uh, Bomberman and several other characters. Oh, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. This is so far what I've finished. I still have this to go and um, I probably have about another binder and a half of PlayStation 2 to do so this one here is about 320 and then I have some here on the side but um, these I won't do covers for or I might might make them smaller just so they can fit in but um, yeah so these are you know there's a mix here of backups and originals you know they're not all back they're not all originals and they're definitely not all backups um, so 
you know, it's either look at them like this when you're trying to track down a game, which is not bad, but I just don't like the handwriting. I'd rather see them like this when I'm trying to track down a game.